Hey everybody, 3KO Games here. We have the Astral Elves event here with five brand new heroes you can summon for. So, boom. Let's get in there and talk about them. We've got um, three five stars, uh, a four star, a three star, and then, of course, still Starwalker and Sparklight. So they're really trying to uh, light the flame under this event and this family and this whole, this whole thing. Um... Yeah, the two that are featured are Dreadstar, who is a five-star purple sorcerer. Um, can go through these passives and family things one time because they're consistent throughout the family, so that's that's good to know. Um, this family bonus uh, for one to two heroes is a 50 or 70% chance to dispel a random dispellable status effect buff from an enemy who deals special skill damage to this character. Um, so that's not bad. You know, they they attack, they do damage, and they try to... And the, that adds attack up, or, you know, whatever, or it adds a counterattack. Um, nope. Swipe it. Just get it, get it away. Just dispel that. Um, with a 50% chance, or... 70% chance, depending upon if you have one or two of these heroes. Um, that's a nice family bonus. Passives. Um, innate resistance against status ailments that affect accuracy. Doesn't apply to status effects from allies. Hmm. Okay, if it's... I don't know what, what these status effects are that are like, hey, we're going to make your your allies less accurate. Hmm. We give blind to the rest of your team. You're like, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure. But that, that's that's fine. Resist blind. Um, oh, yeah, that's right. And this I knew about from the, from the first two. 20% uh, of damage received by this character is shared with other allies and i remember first reading that and wondering like oh is that like a is that a negative part of this no it, it just makes them a little bit more survivable um so they they can they can take the damage just a little bit more cuz the rest of the team is helping them out um so there's that um let's read about the Special skill here, which is an average speed special skill, Astral Dominion. And we're going to deal 340% damage to all enemies. Then all enemies get 30% mana reduction for four turns. And a 74% decrease for any healing received for four turns. All that at average speed is pretty good, especially for all enemies. For all enemies. All enemies, four turns. Average speed. Very useful hero. Um, yeah. I like Dread Star quite a bit. Um, other people that are featured, we've got Moonflower. Um, five star green druid. Passive and family stuff. Still the same. Stats are... Crazy high. I guess we didn't talk about the stats on a Dread Star, but you can imagine. You can rewind the video and look at the numbers. Um, <laughs> for Moonflower, uh, we're at 1286 attack, 1359 defense, 2363 health, and they're without emblems and limit break. Um, so these stats lean a little bit more defensively. Um, but the special skill itself is it is kind of uh, in the middle. I, th I think it's we've never seen a special skill exactly like this. Um, it seems fun, although you don't get that much control. Um, after an enemy casts their special skill during the next three turns, this character deals 235% damage to all enemies. So there's there's a bit of a gamble involved with this special skill. Um, that, you know, your enemies are about to go off. Um, 
if if they don't somehow in the next three turns, um, then all you're doing is uh, giving plus mana generation for your for your allies for three turns, which is is okay. Um, but it seems like it could be a fun a fun effect to to use. Um, I just don't know that we're going to see tons of moonflower on on top defenses that people are going to take that take that risk um and 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 throw throw him in there um when there are other <laughs> other heroes that guarantee to actually like you know do some damage yeah three turns probably somebody's going off and then again maybe it's one of those uh maybe it's one of those matches where it's boom like the whole team's going off um so the whole team's just dead at that point, right? Um, not sure. Um, Moonflower, interesting mechanic, definitely. Um, let's get back in here. And there is another five-star that's not featured. And like is sometimes the case, I think they're extra super strong here. I like this mechanic quite a bit. So Lemonwood is... A five-star yellow ranger. Family passives, still the same. Mm, um, without max power preview, we're at 1042, 1036, 1668. And then let's turn those stats back up. Almost 1400 on attack. Crazy good. Especially for wandering star shot, this fast speed special skill. Deals 350% damage to the target. What? That's not so great. But, um, so it's a 350% snipe at 1398. So that's going to still hit hard. Um, but then it reduces the target of the mana of the target by 20%. And if that target has more than 30% mana after the reduction, the special skill repeats. And I'm not sure what that means because will it keep repeating targeting a random enemy the damage is reduced on each consecutive hit they're saying each consecutive hit i it sounds like this is not repeated just once so if you you're up against a defense and um and most of their most of their team is just about ready to go off this guy could attack three, four, five times. Um, it's possible, you know, if they've got 90% mana, you could hit the same one uh, a couple times in a row um, for slightly reduced damage each time. But still, um, I'll be interested to see if that's actually the case. Will it? Will it just keep repeating? Or is there a limit to how many times it'll repeat? Um, if it just keeps repeating, then that makes Lemonwood at fast speed a pretty awesome hero. So, anyway, there's Lemonwood. We've got a four star and a three star, so let's look at those two. Um, four star is Lion String, uh, Green Wizard. Uh, let's make sure. Yep, they still get all the all the same uh, buffs and the same uh, same numbers behind those uh, um, passives and that family bonus. Okay, uh, line string at very fast fast speed gives the cloth of constellations splash damage two hundred forty five percent damage to the target minor to nearby, then uh, steals fifty percent of any healing. Apply to the target and nearby enemies for two turns. Sounds like that's just just for him. A little selfish, but that's okay. And then caster and nearby get a 45% chance to dodge for two turns. Not bad. Um, two turns is not very long. It's, a, it's at very fast speed. Um, third turn would make this uh, character much... Much more desirable as as a as a four star, but 
Not bad at all. And finally, we got Horgal. No, um, let's go back here. How far do we have to go back? Forever? Shoot, let's just do this. Um, and we have a three-star red fighter named Star Swift to round things out here. Um, check out the little telescope and the little hobby horse. Pretty nice. Um, this, this average speed special skill is star play. Um, simple, 265% da damage to the target and nearby. And caster and nearby ally allies get 20% mana generation plus 20% mana ge generation for three turns. Um, not bad. Um, it just, you know, look, looking at those stats, I mean, double limit broken, that's, that's better than your season ones with, without emblems and, um, limit breaks by, by a good chunk. Um, so, and she's, she, or they'd be really super fast to, to level up. Um, so anyway, those are the heroes. Um, I do have a couple pulls to do. Um, so let's do that, and let's do our superstitions first. Nope, we don't want that. Ooh, one stars. The one stars. The signs are telling me don't pull right now. <laughs> there we go. Ugh. One more. No, I want like I want two, two stars in a row. That's my. Th there we go. It doesn't matter that you have one stars or two stars before you pull. It's just a thing I do. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, all right. Five pulls real quick. Let's see what happens. Tyrum. Thought we were going to Red Star right there. Come on. Dawa. All right. Something good after Dawa. Kalile Kelyle. Still not sure how to say her name. Priska. Ooh, bonus. <laughs> I haven't gotten the season of the uh, the hero of the month yet. She's just not good. She's not good at all. That's all right, soul. Exchange fodder is fine with me. Let's do one more pull. And Nashgar. Well, I got a five-star hero. I guess I can't complain, right? But no elves. That's just fine. Um, thank you for watching the video, and good luck to you if you're doing some pulls. We'll see you next time.